Hi, Genki Call here to share my two favorite autoplay teams. I'm going to go into what the point of autoplay is and why these two teams are my favorite. The first is my gold farming team. Um, so let's go in here. This is the land of webbing, Zulkari, and so it's not the greatest place to do autoplay, but the gold farming team that I use is ideal to use in Zulkari because it doesn't matter if your troops get webbed. And so let me go ahead. Well, we're going to start this. I'm going to put it on autoplay and then I'm going to be explaining things while it's playing. So I'm not going to do anything here except click top left button, click autoplay, and then click OK. This switches back and forth, so you have to actually pay attention. But uh, in order to stop autoplay, if you've never done this before, you click this button and you just cancel it. So I'm not going to cancel it, but let's explain how this team works. I'm using Thief class. This will work with any class at all, and I have used this with multiple classes just to get them um, get them leveled up. But Thief class, for one thing, you're going to start with 50% uh, mana. You're going to get bonus gold on 4 plus gem matches. Um, it's going to Hunter's Mark, a random enemy, on 4 plus gems. Uh, light fingers, more gold every turn. The gold is very important to this team because it's going to boost everything, and you're stealthy. If you're up, if you have that much um, done here, so having it stealthy is important. Now, look, you can see that my hero is webbed right now, and you think, oh, three damage with two random enemies? How's that going to help me? Well, the thing is that it's boosted by my gold and the enemy's gold, and look, we're almost up to 300 already. Look at the boost. So it may only be 3 damage right now, but with the boost, it's going to do some damage still. So you can see I'm almost up to 300 gold. Well, I'm basically at 300 gold already, and my whole team can be webbed, and it doesn't matter. The same is true for the Egg Thief. She destroys random gems. She gets webbed, and she destroys like 2 or 3 random gems. But she's got this boost, so if you have any gold at all, she's still going to be destroying um, gems. Plus, she's going to get more gold every time she casts. So, also, Cedric doesn't matter. There's no purple on the board. It is not affected by magic. Webbing reduces the magic to zero. And if this magic is at zero, it doesn't matter because um, it's, it's not dependent upon that. It's still going to charm. Charm is going to take whatever the attack is of the thing that's casting and it's going to take that attack and hit their enemy with it. Um, this summons, this summons, I mean, it's really a fantastic team to use. It's very slow, as you can see, which is why I'm narrating during it, because, you know, it's slow and boring. But Egg Thief, look, Egg Thief, plus 102 destroy. I mean, that's the whole board. So she's going to cast, she's going to summon, that's going to protect the whole team. It's an Egg Shield, or you've got the Bomb Bot Shield, and... Um, it, it doesn't matter that you're getting hit here. So we're just going to wait for this to finish out. It's almost done already. As soon as this casts, uh, it'll be done. But the stealthy is really helpful here because some things, if you, it's, this is the only thing on the team that's doing damage and it gets hit and then you keep summoning eggs and never get a chance to summon a dragon, it can really slow things down. But you can see it did just fine on a level 12 explorer in Zulkari on the mythic boss battle. This team hardly ever loses. It's very, very rare. Now you can get a bad board at any time and there is no team that is infallible for autoplay. There's actually no team that's infallible period. That's not the way things work. I mean, RNG is going to get you at some point, but um, I forgot to show you how much gold I got. I get with my VIP level and my armor that gives me this beautiful boost. Um, I am, I have, I do have the Death Knight armor, but before that I was using the dragon armor. Uh, whoops. I clicked on the wrong thing. I'll do that. Um, before, I had the dragon armor, and uh, that's still 100% gold, plus 100%. The thing is, for every battle that that does for me, on autoplay, um, I'm getting over 7,000 gold. Now, you may not be able to do an E12 at whatever level you're at, but these are really easy to obtain. 
the uh, class weapon is for Corsair. Let me show you. Class, Corsair. Uh, Plunder and Peril is free. All you have to do is get 250 wins with the Corsair, Corsair class, and you will get this weapon for free. Cedric, of course, is available in the vault, and Egg Thief is just just an epic, I believe. Uh, 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 uh. Egg Thief. There she is. She is... That is an ultra rare. She is an ultra rare, so even easier to get. So I do recommend um, getting the greedy trait on here, and you know having um, agile is good as well. Stealthy al also good, but it's up to you. Whatever you prefer to do. Um, to do, do, do. Right, and so I was gonna say. So what's the point of autoplay? So you're getting seven thousand gold per battle. Big deal. Well, the big deal is that. You know, I've been sick. I have not been feeling well for a couple of months and I haven't been able to really sit and play. So here's what I do. I just windowed the game and I did that by hitting Alt and Enter at the same time. And I make it a little smaller. I can be playing here and watching the chat on somebody's stream. For instance, right now Tacit is streaming. I can go in here and I can, uh, we'll just go back in here for a second. Um, I can go in here, I can start an autoplay here, and this can be running, and well, I'm not actually going to do it because it's kind of slow. Um, I can have it running, I can be in here interest, interacting with somebody else's stream, and then when I see that something has stopped moving over here, I know the battle's over, I can go and start a new one, I can come back and do what I'm doing, do what I was doing. I can interact with the stream, I can watch videos, I can sit here and do paperwork and glance up now and then to see if it's ready. Um, or I can be doing work on the computer. It's just a way for me to get more resources in the game without having to pay too much attention to it. Now, my other favorite team is um, fast. It Comparatively, it is very fast. I love this team. It does have a mythic on it, and it can be used in Hellcrag. Hellcrag is one of the hardest autoplay places because of um, Halcedony. We're going to do a level 12 here, and I will explain the team just like I did last time. My favorite E12 quick team is my Wild King team. I adore this team. It's lots of fun to use. Yes, you know, I love blowing things up with Doom Skulls. <laughs> Boom! Oh, it's so fun. So, you know, I like to do this and, you know, just get those. <laughs> Get those off the board and I want to just keep playing at this point. I want to cast this I want to keep going But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on autoplay and explain what I've got going on here. So We've got Gorgotha at the front. He explodes gems. He cleanses himself So if he has a negative status effect on himself as soon as he casts it goes away And he has skull damage reduction by 75% which is going to protect you from all of those skulls that are going to be on the board Because there are going to be some skull skulls now, I use this team for leveling as well. It is safest with Elementalist class. Of course, it's going to be safest with Elementalist, but I have used it with other classes for leveling. Um, next up, we have the Wild King. Enrage all allies and give them attack. It's your magic plus one. See my magic right here? Uh, then create a mix of 22 skulls and yellow gems. Also, you get a Bone Storm at the start of the, ga uh, the battle, which can lead to... Um, a skull waterfall and well I don't pay attention to the third trait we've got leprechaun for fast mana and then we've got the doomed scythe dum, dum, dum. ah all right so he's gonna be creating skulls and yellow gems we're gonna take those yellow gems and we're gonna turn them into doom skulls oh yeah so fun and so you can see the AI actually handles this pretty well I have had only a couple of losses with this team, just like with my gold farming team. It's very, it's very fast. It's safe to use in places where generally it's not safe to use other teams. And I can use this team with mimics. This team has never lost to a mimic chest um, battle. And I, anytime one comes up, I, I use it because it works. So uh, anyway, I do have other autoplay teams. If you would like to see those, let me know in the comments down below and I will share those with you in another video. These are just my two favorites. Um, if you have any 
comments, any questions, anything at all, let me know down in the comment section below. Also, let me know your favorite autoplay teams. I'd love to hear it. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you folks soon. Bye-bye!